Hello, this is Panda Mushroom with a Farming Simulator 2013 mod review. Today we're doing a Class Lexion 550 Harvester. There you can see, we're just going to shop and have a look. There you go, it's the Class Lexion 550. Uh, grain tank is 9,600. Maintenance is $350 a day. Uh, has 351 horsepower. Just told you about the grain tank. Can also handle cutters up to 7.5 meters. So it's great for value for money. It will set you back $220,000. In the pack you get the corn header, 675, which is uh, 6 row, um, doesn't tell you the maintenance per day, but that will cost you 31,000. Then there's the uh, V660, which is the width of 6.6 .6 meters. Maintenance of seven five dollars a day, and it's Vario Cotta for barley, wheat, and canola, and that will cost thirty two thousand. There is also, if you've got some bigger fields, a width uh, V seven fifty class V Vario uh, Cotta head which is 7.5 meters and a maintenance of $125 a day that's also for barley, wheat and canola or rape whichever you want to call it and that will also cost $32,000 there's one last bit which is in Mimisk which is a class header trailer and that's for 6 to 7.5 meter heads with maintenance of ten dollars a day and that is four thousand two hundred dollars okay it says it contains fully working lights right here we are you will need the latest patch to run this and if not you're gonna have problems uh, and also the it says the real light mod from the Evoc team, um, which is uh, on the contest website, I believe, still at the moment. I'll put a link in the description. If you don't have the real light mod, there's a good chance your indicators and that won't work properly. So let's have a quick look. You can't clip through, which is a good thing. It doesn't look too bad a model. You can clip through that, but I'm not worried about that. As it stands, it's it's not too bad. And the, the colour's quite nice. Uh, it's not garish. Nothing stands out to be too dramatic. Let's just have a look inside. It's the interior's not bad. You can see into the grain tank. It's got IC. The only thing on the IC by looks things is the computer, which is for the camera. One two which is the pipe three which is the back of it four and five I think are um, for the header I believe it can only the camera is only on the V750 so let's just start her up
top speed of about 14 just spin around to get towards one of the headers see as you pick up the head I'll just drop that it feels the weight of it so it bounces a bit which is nice go through the keys one two three four no five five gives you the rear lights six gives you the front lights, 7, 8, 9, no, M, N, no, B will turn it on, also opens up the grain tank, back to the if you press N that switches it to working mode so it opens the grain tank which is nice you can even see yourself sitting in there pipe comes up that's not that's nice that's nice move action Five, six, seven, no. Yeah, all looks okay. Have we got beacons? Yes, we got beacons. Right, on the header, we got mouse. Oh, look at that. The uh, thrasher part of it goes up and down in and out as well that's a nice animation there not bad we we'll just jump in to check the camera out no cameras available I must have the little one on yep I've got the 660 on it tells me in the inspector mod okay just get out just have a look at the can clip for a little bit there that might be because it's on the machine can't clip through that they look quite nice models Colour looks not too bad. Round about, you've got the corn header and the trailer. So let's take it to a field and let's have a go. Okay, we are back at the cornfield. We do the cornfield first. We have to press X to unfold the corn head there you can see it unfolding I'll just get out nice nice action we set it up into um, field mode Just jump in and we're hire a worker, see if that works. You can see nice animation as it's cutting through the corn. What I did notice when I was diving down here in the cab is it's got a bouncy seat, so it's a suspension seat. So you can check that out for yourself. You can see the animation in the grain tank as 
the uh, it's cutting, it's piping it through and putting it into the grain tank. It's working quite nicely. See how it turns. That's a nice turn. Looking nice. Nice animation. Nice machine, really. Okay, what we do is we go and have a look at the uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll tab into the tractor I've got down here and we'll go and unload it, see if we can unload it. I know it says it's got a manual unload, but I've brought this trailer down because this is the highest trailer in the game to see if it actually um, unloads. Oh, oh, I missed it. Yeah, it's unloading. Nice animation on the unload. Okay, let's go and have a look at the wheat ones. Okay, here we are back with the at the wheat field. I'll just show you if you can see the bouncing on the seat a little bit. Right. And I've also got the uh, header trailer on, so I'll unhook that. The only thing I did notice, it might be my actual farm. I did reset, have to reset the trailer. Um, and then it started going off for a little wander. But that could just be my farm. Okay, normal. You just up the uh, header up. I will go over the crop to see if it's got wither wheels and it hasn't so that is a plus I'll just move over a bit because I've got the other combine this is the 750 you can see the laser lights come up tank opening, press H and away we go, it's set to chop to start with so if you press O it won't just stop it it probably can't be moving while you press O what am I doing? Press M, sorry. Alright, oh, start again. There you go. That's if you want your straw. Obviously it's set to default to chop. Nice animation as the wheat's going up. We'll just have a look at it in cab. Nice, nice the way they've done that, nice animation. Let's just see, because this is the 750, if we've got all, you can see the back, see the pipe, see underneath, see the right and the left. There you go. It's 
Right, I'll just jump out because the other one is full. So go and empty it. So obviously when it gets 100 percent it stops. But it, you've also got the lights flashing. There you go to tell you that it's getting there. Got to go on the crops, sorry. Probably going to get squished by this other one. And I missed it. Too close. Pickle here. Oh, I'll get two for the price of one here. <laughs> well, there you go, nice action unloading. This is the Lexion 550 class. This is Panda Mushroom, thank you for listening.